Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 24th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a world update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Looking here at the last 48 hours on our sun, things are starting to pick up as we have the Earth facing a coronal hole. But other than that, still a pretty quiet sun surface right now. One, two, three, four sunspots cresting in right now. And our sun is remaining right now in B and C class flare range. Nothing since that large blast on the back side of the sun, but still observing some pretty active sunspot regions coming in. Looking at outgoing here. Right hand side there, pretty much the only activity. As well, plasma filaments dancing around there in the southern hemisphere. Looking at a different light here. And then at 171 angstroms, these are the coronal holes, which we are experiencing the space weather right now. We've seen our solar winds pick up over 500 kilometers per second. Quick look at Lasco 2 and 3, the last 48 hours. Again, just very quiet. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, B-class, C-class range. 3C-class in the last 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity slightly raised with a KP index of 3. Real-time solar wind right now sitting at 500 kilometers per second. But it did spike up today to just about 600 kilometers per second. Topped out at about 580. Density bunches sitting at 9.71. Phi angle at 71. ISWA space prediction spiral, still nothing else to report, but it is showing that we are experiencing now the coronal hole wind stream. Yellow circle is Earth. And that big blob on the backside was a flare, large one. Schumann residence for today, a power of 45. Definitely elevated here. Quality of 7.6. So quality is okay. The amplitude's a little bit heavy. Power 28. Let's look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. Starting out with most recent 5.0 here in Nogliki, Russia, at a 10 kilometer depth. Pretty rare place for an earthquake. I haven't reported one there. And then uh, Japan, still seeing many earthquakes here. Iwaki, Japan, 4.5. Nami, Japan, 4.5. And as well, another 4.5 here in Fukuyaka. Fukuyaka, Fukuyaka, however we say it. <laughs> you say potato, I say potato. Cabra, Philippines, 4.6 as well. 10 kilometer depth. Philippines plate into Guam, pagan region, and northern Mariana Islands, pretty deep, 200 and some odd. As well, Indonesia, slightly deep there with 150 kilometer depth. Krakatoa has awakened. Looking at Port Olroy here, Vanuatu 4.6. And here's our deepest earthquake today, Fiji Islands, 534 kilometer depth of 4.5. So we can expect a larger shallow earthquake to please just stay aware. We've warned before and it happens and we don't know when that big one's going to come for the Cascades because we're expecting it. Looking through Alaska here, 4.3, Aleutian Islands, across North American plate, White City, New Mexico reporting 3.9, small swarm there occurring, seeing about eight earthquakes throughout the day. Mexico into the Caribbean plate. 4.6, 4.5, as well as 4.7 here, Galapagos Triple Junction region, Wolf Volcano, 4.7 there in Palmar, Colombia, and as well as 4.2, Dominican Republic largest through the Caribbean plate, but things are starting to pick up again and way too quiet, South American plate, way too quiet across the east as well. Pretty low numbers for earthquakes right now, hovering just over 200 earthquakes, according to USGS, across the world. Looking here, quick look at the last seven days. And I 
really am expecting is something here tonight. Central America northward up into the Cascades. It's way too quiet for my liking. And if we get a couple more deep earthquakes in the next little bit, we're going to see a big one. North American plate and stay aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery. This is the last three days across the world, showing now that large low-pressure system that dropped almost 20 tornadoes through Texas, and as well rain and snow mix through Ontario. Even thunderstorms last night is now on its way to the Atlantic provinces. Have a look at volcanoes in Nevadas de Ruiz, Talika, Sabincaya in Peru, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, as well as Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Many flood alerts and storm alerts across the world, folks. Recon de la Veja, Colombia, Simaru, Indonesia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today. Reventador in Ecuador, that was two days ago, and as well as Harinkatan. So we are over the 52 that I just reported two days ago. We're sitting at about 53, including Recon de la Veja, and possibly 54 with Krakatoa. Quick look around the world. Storms, South America as well. Pretty strong at times over the next 48 hours. Northern Brazil, there's been landslides. Many people affected and displaced. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Across the Pacific Ocean. Big swath of moisture through the Central Pacific, Northern Pacific, heading eastward. Storms through New Zealand and as well as southeastern Australia. Two tropical cyclones, Tropical Cyclone Charlotte, and as well, Halima is now named and could be a very strong storm as it heads straight south. And Charlotte is going to hang around and do a loop-de-loop -loop along the coastline of western Australia. Intense low-pressure system hanging around Spain, bringing stormy conditions as well. Storm conditions here in Africa. Malawi and Mozambique flood alerts and you've got some more rain on the doorstep let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by venture sky and as well daily events worldwide observing here that large low pressure system that affected most of the u.s and canada heading into the atlantic provinces for saturday into sunday and by that time we will be in the minuses again with a lot of flurries and quite possibly about five centimeters of snow through Ontario, and you will see more than that through the United States. But a cold week ahead. Pretty strong low pressure system here heading into the west coast, central California and north. And that will be penetrating your coastline Monday into Tuesday. So heads up, there's going to be some tropical force winds with that large low pressure system. And it's going to race straight across the Sierra Nevadas. And then by Thursday, Friday next week, it's going to be a nasty storm coming through Ontario. A little winter storm there, Alberta Clipper moving northward. Overlooking Europe. Still expecting that snowstorm for parts of Sweden and Eastern Europe, Central Europe. Pretty dry considering. And Spain, as I said, and have been forecasting here the last few days intense low pressure system it's been hanging around about three days so watch for flooding conditions as well africa south africa watch for flooding conditions along the tip through mozambique malawi and as well look at the forecast there for halima not going to be affecting humanity at all and then north and south korea watch you do have a pretty strong storm heading your way the center of the low heading straight over the Korean province, and then northward to Kamchatka, and then eventually it's going to make its way to Alaska in the long range, and bashing in with another huge low pressure system. These things are just getting out of hand, man. The low pressure systems are getting bigger, they're getting more organized. Overlooking Australia, looking at Charlotte here, forecast for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. As you see, it's going up and down the coastline. So flood alerts all across the southwest 
and northwestern parts of Australia. And then you've got a tropical system here developing for parts of Indonesia in the long range. Tuesday into Wednesday, first week of April, tropical cyclone coming into northwestern parts of Australia. New Zealand, wet week ahead of you. Low pressure center still hanging around. South America, pointing out here, the low pressure system, the culprit for all of these storms through Paraguay, Argentina, and up into Brazil. Now leaving, and then watch for daily evaporation rains throughout. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern, pointing out the major systems spinning across our planet. Thanks for watching today. This has been The Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.